New cards before we do that? Oh, okay. Hold up. New cards where? Oh, that thing. Yeah, it's been it's been a couple days since this has been released, but I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, we can talk about that one. Let's go over this very quickly. What tuna, light thunder tuner effect monster. It's kind of funny that the tuna is a tuner. Uh, you can only use the first and third effect of these cards name each once per turn. If your monster afflicts battle damage to your opponent at the end of the damage step, you special summon this card from your hand. This card can attack directly. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack, you contribute it and one more non-tuner from your hand and or face up field. And if you do special summon a Watt Synchro. Kind of cool. Watt is kind of just like this cheesy going second strategy, which I find kind of funny. I don't think it's it's probably never going to be viable unless they give it some really broken shit. But this one is kind of fun, depending on... I mean, there's a new Synchro. I actually don't remember what this one does. Uh, the Watt Synchros always look kind of fire, though. I kind of like how the... I, am I the only one who's kind of digging the artwork on the Watt Synchros? They're pretty cool. Um, level 8 Light Thunder Synchro Effect Monster. Um, also, it's funny. This one, this one enables you to make Colossus because it active. It's a thunder that activates in hand. That's funny. Um, a watt tuner and a non tuner thunder. You can only use the second effect um, once per turn. This card can attack directly when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack. Shuffle a watt tuner from your grave and a face up thunder non tuner you control into the deck. Uh, special summon a Watt Synchro from your extra deck except Watt Taurus. It's a lot of damage that is that we're getting here. But, yeah. Watt Kingdom. Continuous spell card. You can, o you can only use the second effect uh, once per turn. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of any of their monsters in the same column as this card and or one of your Watt monsters that activate when they are normal or special summoned. You can target one Watt monster you control. You cannot special for the rest of this turn except Thunder. Also special summon a Watt with a different name from your deck. Then you lose life points equal to the summon monster's attack. That's a pretty good card. I feel like. Because it disables your opponent's shit. And it summons a Watt from your deck. This card's pretty good. It's just that I don't know if the if the concept is good going second with Watts. I don't know if the concept will ever be good. I wonder if someone will find a way to loop Watt Chimera and just hand loop the opponent. Well, what, what does Watt Chimera do? Is Watt Chimera like attack directly and then loop a card or something? This card can attack directly. If this card inflicts battle damage, place a random card from your opponent's hand on top of their deck. I mean, the thing is, if you find a way to loop uh, this type of stuff, you're killing them before you even loop their hand fully, right? It's not like, it's not, the point of this can never be loop their hand because you're killing them in the process, right? I feel like uh, we're not looking for that type of stuff, right? But yeah. I will say all three of these cards in the context of Watts are pretty strong. However, I don't know if the concept of Watts will ever be good still. Right? So, I don't know. I don't know about this.